many people have been diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder. These people have challenges in situations that require social skills that neurotypical people can quickly adapt to. So I was first diagnosed with PDD, which is a strain of autism, when I was four years old. But as of like a couple of years ago, this was upgraded to a diagnosis of Asperger's. Having autism has had its ups and downs, but like you can do better at like a lot of your school subjects, but when it comes to being social with other people and talking to other people, it's pretty hard just to go and leap into conversations and like when you make like a lot of faux pas and you make yourself look awkward in public, it tends to happen to me quite a bit and it's pretty embarrassing, but overall, I don't really think that should keep me from being normal, just as long as you get the support from a lot of your family members, because I know a lot of people out there who have autism, and they've pretty much like gotten bullied, and they've had like a lot of harsh things done to them, and I was thankfully not exactly one of those people, but I'm able to go and I'm friends with like a lot of other people with autism, just like me, and I've been able to help with them and yeah so if you ever feel that your autism is like bringing you down you can always ask somebody you trust and they will most likely understand. I kind of lived my life um, what I'd say is my normal and other people might not think that. Um, I got teased a bit. Um, I never really understood like social cues. Um, <clears throat> like growing up was pretty difficult, but now that I'm in like the SSCP program at Ancaster High, I've met people who are like me, with who are on the autism spectrum, and I've met many great people there. I have wonderful friends, and overall, my life became better when I came here. I understand social cues a bit better. I can handle my emotions better. Like everything just went to a more positive look. When I was younger, like I never really fit in with other people. I was always kind of off to the side doing my own kind of thing. I never really had a lot of friends. The ones I did, it was kind of, it was off and on because I wouldn't understand like if they were trying to tell me something through like their voice or like the way they were acting towards me, I wouldn't be able to always read that. And I was never really bullied a lot, but I kind of felt like an outcast. And a few years ago I was diagnosed with Asperger's and that was kind of, it made sense at the time of the diagnosis because I never really spoke to a lot of people and I didn't really know how to necessarily. And it allowed me to get into the program I'm in here at Ancaster High. And um, that's kind of helped me kind of learn some of the skills that I needed to learn. And it's kind of boosted my confidence in the social world, but also in kind of fitting into the school environment and to social settings in general. My biggest struggles with um, autism is basically uh, my brain's in hyperdrive all the time and I'm constantly, any little thing will constantly throw me off because like with something you find basic that doesn't matter or like the, the lights being slightly too bright is like a freaking a thousand suns in my face. I just find it hard to deal with a lot of things that I want to be able to deal with, but having my autism makes it really difficult to just be normal. But even though nobody's normal and we all should just be able to respect each other and be able to just help each other out and not really put these labels on because we all are unique and we all have different struggles.